took a little week break, but we're back. We're not we're like a alive. week week break like we were tired, but week like time wise break. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, you. But it could be both, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we took a little a little You're vacation. Feeling weak, you need a little little time. Yeah. So yeah, I get it. I get it. You take you sorry, take a little rest and. A little rest, but I interrupted, but I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, so we're wrapping up on our first season of There and Back Again. Yep. Uh, we have a few more episodes. Uh, Doctor Strange comes out. I uh, still think, because that's th- this week, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday. Oh, I, I think higher things should send us to it. I, I, I think that's perfect. I think, uh, I think I think just keep the receipts, you know, all the popcorn, yep. all the goobers. Yeah. You know? Oh, man, I love goobers. I love goobers, man. Hard Under, to beat a goober. Underrated candy. It is. Chocolate covered peanuts, delicious. Have you ever noticed that we talk about candy a lot? Well, we are, we are, we know. Hefty, heftier fellas. So yeah. it's husky is what know. husky is what my mom used to call me. Yeah, my mom would do that too. She's like, I'm gonna get you some husky pants. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> mom. Yeah, I'm gonna come over. One hundred percent. Yeah, but yeah, but no, that'll be good. Definitely talk about that. So that's coming out this week. Yep, this week. So we'll Doctor wrap Strange. up with our last couple of episodes talking about Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. But this week we're going to talk about something that has taken TikTok yeah. by storm. Every, well, prior to last night and, and the Roe v. Wade stuff. But we're not going to talk about that because no. we don't talk about politics. No. Um, every Prior to last night, every other TikTok that you watched, you know, I only watch five minutes of TikTok a day. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. I limit it to five minutes. I go boom, boom, for you done. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Exactly. That's we're it. Good. That's all the TikTok. So, uh, five minutes of TikTok, easily six hours of my content a day. No, five minutes. Yeah, I love no. it. I love no. it. So, mostly we've been seeing Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yep. Amber Heard, as we know, has sued Johnny Depp for defamation. Yep. Um, because he accused her of abuse, abuse and slandering him too. Yep, and his career, and by all respects, and I think it's relatively probably true when he says it is that he is ruined. Yeah, I mean he lost all the money makers. He's lost all of his endorsement deals, with the exception of Dior. Yep. Um, no more, no more Jack Sparrow. Yeah, and he even said in court that he would never do it again. Yeah, they could sad. back, they could back up the truck to his doorstep, full yeah. of money. He's not going to be Jack Sparrow. He would never be Jack Sparrow. That's sad, man. So what do you think about what's going on in in this trial? How do you you see things happen? You know, there's... It's interesting when you... What do you do when you you go on the podium? They make you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I don't know if they do this to help you God anymore. I don't think they do. I think it depends on where you are. Yeah, it probably depends on the jurisdiction. But basically, you're taking an oath. And it's like, well, what about Scripture? Scripture says you shouldn't take oaths. Let your yes be yes... You know, we know. And Luther, in the large catechism in the Eighth Commandment, talks about oath-taking. And he says, one should not be afraid to take an oath when one is speaking the truth. Because your testimony is true. You're basically having your yes be yes. But you're telling them, yeah, sure, I'm not going to lie because what I'm saying is absolutely true. Because what's led to this is not truth, but slander. Yep. Breaking the eighth commandment. I mean, I've said it many times. The worst commandment. I I don't go. I don't get in the pulpit and preach against abortion and homosexuality and the fornicators every single Sunday. But I almost every Sunday bring up gossip, bring yep. up loose lips, bring up the reality that James says the tongue is a small member yet causes the most damage because mm-hmm. it does. Once you ruin someone's reputation, yeah, it's almost impossible for them. to Yeah, you, and even if you think it's not a big deal. Gossip may be 100% true even, but the intent is never good. Well, yeah, and I think the like the intent is never good. The intent is to kill. Right. Um, I think when um, Amber Heard came out um, and accused Johnny Depp of abuse and all these things, which through the trial, um, depending on how you fall on it, it's, it's evident to me at least that she's probably... She was lying. Yeah. She was lying. Yeah. Um, to put it, I think, kindly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, she, her intent was to hurt. Her right. intent was to kill. Yeah. Um, those words are daggers, and exactly. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. That's what we can learn from this trial. And any trial you watch, is the reality that when you speak truth, doesn't always necessarily mean you're going to win out. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll have the, the the phrase "truth will out." In the end, yes, on the last day it does. But while yep. you're here below, you will suffer. Johnny Depp's going to suffer through these things yep you will suffer as you speak the truth yeah and i, I mean that it always 
there's a, a band I like, and they have an album called Speak the Truth Even If Your Voice Shakes. Hmm. Yeah. And, I mean, and I think that that's true here is, like, um, you can get in, like, the postmodern kind of idea of, like, what is a person's truth or yeah. is, that, is there such a thing. But in this instance, um, I mean, if you watch Johnny Depp's testimony, um, when he was talking about actually being abused by her, that was that was gut wrenching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that was sad. Yeah, um, and it's not. And when you're, I grew up with Pirates of the Caribbean, and mm-hmm. when that's you grow up with Johnny Depp or even Edward Scissors. Edward Scissors hands. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like that that was heart wrenching, kind of to see him at that level. Well, yeah. Well, you, it, uh, while this was going on, they did little clips of Johnny Depp because he would always dress up like Jack Sparrow, go to the hospitals. Mm-hmm. And this was after the finger. The finger, yeah. And one of the little girls said, what happened to your finger? And he made a joke. And he's like, well, I got hungry, so I ate it. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing is even how do people who are abused deal with things? Yeah. They'll cover it up because they don't want other people to suffer like they're yeah. suffering. They'll make up lies. They'll say things because they don't want you to. Yeah. Build up that brick wall just yeah, to, uh, to I'm protect fine. those around you. Yeah. So I guess that's the other thing. If anyone ever tells you they're fine, keep asking them questions because they're clearly not fine. Mm-hmm. No one's ever fine. So yeah. you are hurting. You're damaged. So what can we learn from this as Christians going from Sunday to Sunday is your tongue can do some damage. God gives the Eighth Commandment for a reason. Yep. But then realize this. Jesus speaks well about you. He doesn't slander you. He doesn't gossip about you. He's making intercession for you. Mm-hmm. Day and night. That's what he does. Yep. So that's what we do. The church is the one that makes intercession and speaks well for everybody. Yep. Care for your neighbor. Yeah. It ain't rocket science. John 13, they will know you're my disciples when you have love for each other. That's the basic yep. thing. So we can watch these trials and lament because of the condition of the world. Learn right. from it and say, may we never enter into this as well. Mm-hmm. Lead us not into that temptation, Lord. So it's fun times. Amen. Mm-hmm. Sad times, but fun times. Always. Sad, but fun. Yes. Yeah. I'm always having fun times, no matter what happens. All right. That's our episode for this week. Uh, maybe next week we'll, uh, we'll, turn, our, we'll t- turn our receipts in. And, We're going to turn and the receipts through, in. We're going to turn the receipts in. The end clip will be Goodman will, looking at him, looking at yeah, the receipts. Yeah. So I so like whether or not to submit them. <laughs> I love it. All right. We'll see you all next week. Uh, check us out, higherthings.org. We're running a whole bunch of new stuff on our social media. Check that out, too. Uh, we'll see you all soon. Au revoir. Au revoir.